Hey you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. And today we are showing you around one of our favorite cities. It's actually where we met and we're taking you around Santa Barbara. Yes, we met in Santa Barbara almost two years ago now, yeah. which is really exciting. And she went actually graduated from UCSB and I moved up here for two and a half years. So today our goal is to show you guys how to do Santa Barbara like a local. We're showing you all the hidden gems that are usually not as talked about uh, on your average tourist guide. So we're excited to have you along for the journey. Yes, we started off this morning at Helena Bakery. Helena Avenue Bakery. Yes, it's one of our favorite spots. Uh, two things to get, you have to get their Elvis, Elvis bread. Uh, yeah. That oh is my, my favorite. It's banana bread, they put some bacon on top with peanut butter and I think it's honey on the very top. But, Maybe oh, syrup, I don't know. It's so good. <laughs> and then what I always get is the breakfast sandwich. It's like this brioche bun baked in butter with these <laughs> the fluffiest eggs you will ever see, some bacon and like the, with cheese. Oh, it's like the best. They do the, the simple breakfast sandwich in the best possible way. And their coffee is also really good. So highly recommend checking that out for breakfast. If you guys want any other breakfast recommendations, other places that we normally stop, go to Janine's Bakery. There's the Shop Kitchen. Handlebar. Go check out Handlebar. Fresh Cakes. That's actually where we had our first date together. If you like acai bowls, checking out Backyard Bowls. We are off to go check out State Street in downtown Santa Barbara now. the best ice cream spot in Santa Barbara. If you want a good Bloody Mary, go to Joe's. So if you guys need any drink recommendations, check out O'Malley's and Sharky's. When you go to Sharky's, you have to get the fish bowl. It's the only way to do it. Do it with a group of friends. <laughs> Alright, we just finished walking down State Street. Yeah, and there's so many hidden gems um, also right along the side streets of State Street. So if you're walking down, make sure not to ignore everything else stemming off of it as well. State Street's completely different during the day and the night. So depending on what kind of feel you're going for, go during the day between like 11 and 3. It's one that has the most hustle and bustle. It's really fun. You can go down and check out all the shops. There's a lot of cool antique shops that you can go into, as well as a lot of really tasty brunch spots. And then if you go at night, completely different feel. Oh yeah, nightlife is pretty crazy up here in Santa Barbara. Um, that's actually how we met. We met downtown on State Street. <laughs> you can go check out Joe's Cafe. Make sure to go check out Dargan's. Make sure to go check out Sandbar and Sharky's and O'Malley's. O'Malley's. All those have great nightlife. There's a bunch of really good breweries down here like M Special and Night Lizard and Institutionale. Yeah, so, and if you also like wine, there's wine therapy and there's tons and tons of um, little wine shops along the side streets of State Street, but we'll get into it a little more uh, later because the hottest wine spot in Santa Barbara is definitely down in the funk zone. Yes, the funk zone is where it's all at. Santa Barbara State Street can get a little crazy at night. If you want more of a chill vibes, definitely head to the funk zone. And now we are off to the beach. We're gonna go show you our um, experiences at the wharf and the pier and probably go kayaking. All right, what are we doing now? We are kayaking. You have to get out in the water if you are in Santa Barbara. So the 
best way, in my humble opinion, to experience uh, the wharf in Santa Barbara is by going out on the water. We are out here kayaking with our friendly little seals over here. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. We always get a little marine layer. Um, but it tends to burn off in the afternoon. So I highly recommend getting out and exploring, whether it's by kayaking, paddle boarding, on a boat, on a land shark, which is like a little cruise and tour you can do, half on the land and half on the water, whatever is your preference. We're at the beach right next to the wharf. Two spots you have to check out if you're in the mood for like sushi or you like pokey, there's this place called Sushi A Go Go. The best pokey. They give you so much and it's a really, it's a really good uh, price for the portions you get and then there's on the alley brophy bros is there too if you want to go and have somewhere to sit down but something nice and quick and pretty light check out on the alley right over here is east beach it's one of our favorite beaches it has volleyball courts on it that you can hang out on and on Best sundays spot. usually um when it's not covid there's also art walks down um, from the wharf to East Beach. And we're gonna go to one other beach. So you guys might know about it. It's definitely a local favorite. It's called Hendry's Beach. Also have Hendry's Boathouse there, which is a favorite restaurant of ours. I think they're doing to-go cocktails right now. So we're gonna try and see if we can get something. If not, we're gonna go take in the beach and all the doggies that are there. It's, an, it's a dog allowed <laughs> park so, or beach, so we love going. Yes, here we go. We are now at Hendry's. And we got some cocktails. These are the to-go cocktails. Their happy hour is Sunday to Thursday from three to six. So if you guys are in the area, make sure to check that out. And they have a great happy hour selection. Yes. This is one of the local favorite beaches and it's great for dog lovers. Yes, if you're traveling with your dog, we highly recommend checking out this beach. Make sure that when you guys come, you check the weather. Like we were just downtown, completely sunny over here. Completely totally cloudy. cloudy. <laughs> Which happens at Santa Barbara when you go yep. across different coasts. Especially during the summer months from about May, June, July, August, September. If you've ever heard of June May, gloom. Gray, yeah, June May, gloom. gray, and June gloom. September, October, November are usually some of the best times to check out Santa Barbara. And the nice thing about Santa Barbara is that it's like basically perfect weather year round. You get occasional rain in the winter, but it's still nice sunset, I would say. And I mean, there's so many things to do here. If you haven't already checked out our hiking video for Santa Barbara, our guide to all of our favorite hikes and our favorite waterfall hike, make sure to check out the videos above. Yes, there were some of our favorite hikes. Santa Barbara is one of the most active places in the United States, according to UCSB, correct? UCSB is like the either the most active or the second most active campus in the nation. And it makes sense because there's so much to do, whether it's surfing, hiking, going to the beach, going downtown. Volleyball, yeah. rock climbing. There's some really good rock climbing as well. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy our cocktails. A little cloudy, but never a bad day at the beach. And then we will take you to the Funk Zone. And that is where we will end this lovely video. Funk Zone is like the, we would say probably the most hip place to go. Relax, oh, nice. hang out. A lot of locals go there. State Street's a little bit more touristy. Touristy, yeah. Definitely a lot more people go there just to get wild, and um, a lot of college students go there. But the funk's a little bit more laid back, more our vibe. We'll see you guys there. Wine tasting is a must in Santa Barbara. Especially in the Funk Zone. You'll find so many good spots in the Funk Zone. This is Paradise Springs Winery. It's actually our first time here, but our friends who work down here recommended us, and right away we already recommend it, so. <laughs> this is the best spot for anything like paella or tapas style meals. It is so good, so good. Definitely come here with the group though, because it's a lot of food for a small group. just showed you the funk zone it like I said it's one of our favorite areas during the day 
during the night. Don't go in the morning, <laughs> but the mornings it yeah, it's pretty dead. Everything's <laughs> closed. But highly, highly recommend coming and checking it out. Today we showed you seven. It's one of the best places for nice food, bar food. It has some really good brews there. Get too. their truffle fries. Oh, or so their garlic good. parmesan fries, man. We showed you Test Pilot, some of the best tiki bar cocktails you're gonna have. Really, really good. Right next door to Test Pilot. If you Paradise come during the day. Springs. Paradise Springs. We literally bought two bottles right now because they're too they're too good. Uh, their two best ones that we had was their Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc, Blanc and their Rosé. Check out the Lark as well. Right next to the Lark, if you want a little bit more lower end, a little bit more budget, check out the Lucky Penny. For some great pizza. And right around the corner is Lokita for some great Spanish food. And, and then us. three of our favorite breweries, they're all in a row. You can check out Figaro Brewery. You can come over here and check out Topa Topa. And lastly, finish off at Llama Dog. And bring your dog. <laughs> or just stare at other people's because they're cute. Yes. Anyway, thank you for watching our Santa Barbara like a local. Uh, don't forget to check out our best hikes and our favorite waterfall hike in Santa Barbara. Yes, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to follow along with more adventures. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye!